DMTM The Show presents MK Cast with your host, The Ambassador, and Slay J and Pablo Gunner. Test your might, everybody. We're here to talk about Mortal Kombat. So I, I watched the original movies, of course. The original one came out what in like ninety five? Yeah, in nineteen ninety five. And that one's not horrible, but they didn't incorporate like any of the moves or anything like that. That I yeah, that I really recognize. Like there wasn't. Uh, did they even do the Liu Kang bicycle kick? I think they might yeah. have done that one. They did the bicycle kick. And oh, of course they, they did the, the scorpion. Fireball. Yeah, the scorpion get over They did here, the scorpion, that, and then the sub zero. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> they said get over here way too much. And I've been listening to the music for it, and, like, that's all it says is get over here and come over here. <laughs> so annoying. Like, I always skip that track because, like, it starts cool, and then it just, once it goes on to that, I'm like, okay, this is annoying. I'm skipping this. But the main soundtrack, or the main song, hits so good. Even to this day, dude. Like, they'll even try to do remixes. Still not as good. Like, no, not as it good. It is mind-blowingly good. Like, it still stands it's the test of time. It yeah, really it does. Timeless. Like, it's a blast. I was listening, I was, that came on and I was just dancing to it. The, even the kids loved it. They're like, yeah, they're all, you know, and then you feel like when you hear the song, you want to do like all the different poses of the characters that are like, Raiden, Liu Kang, you know, Johnny Kid, and you're like, I can't do the splits, you know, like, I'm not doing that one. <laughs> you know, uh, Kung Lao, you do like the hat thing, you know, so it's like, it's so good, dude. And it's cheesy. It's a cheesy movie, but it's, it's not bad. It really isn't too horrible. Like. There's some things that could have been written better because, like, my wife watched it with me. And probably, like, the worst part is, I think, when Liu Kang is fighting Shang Tsung at the end. And he's he's, he starts winning and he runs away. And then he, like, taunts him and he goes up there. And then, like, he just turns around and then changes into his dead brother. And then turns back around and he just acts like that's his real brother. Like, he didn't just see him change. Right in front of his eyes, and he's like completely fools him for a minute, and then he's like, "No way, this can't be!" Like, and then like, it's so dumb because like with slight easy, if you had just been like, he ran up there and then he transformed into the brother and then called from up there, and he's like, "Hey, you didn't yeah, actually kill me," sense, sure. you know? And then he goes up there and he's like, "Oh my god, it's so good to see you!" And then yeah. like he does something where you know he's like, "No, this doesn't feel right," you know? And, like then he starts like catching on and stuff, or like he's about to like. Shang Tsung's about to kill him or something once he turns his back. He's like, all right, let's get out of here or something. You know what I mean? Like You can definitely tell that this movie was 90s for sure. Oh, yeah. It's just, yeah. Like all the weird cheesy graphics in the background. Oh, like gosh. the lightning. And it's it's crazy, but it, you know, it does, you know, it's nostalgia, right? It, and it then really is. When we're growing, well, I, I'm talking for me here. When I grew up and saw that, I was like, this is the coolest <laughs> thing ever. Because I just remember sitting at home on my Super Nintendo Playing those arcade games, man. Just button smashing <laughs> my friends, you know, yelling at them, you know. <laughs> so I, it does definitely take you back to that era. Oh, for that. sure. Oh, my God. It's so good. I love it. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's it's the, it's the nostalgia mainly. Because, like, it's not the greatest movie. Like, even the Johnny Cage fight against Goro, I was like, it would have made more sense if he did the nut punch and then, like, his kick off of the cliff. You know, like, he's just destroying him and, and leads him that way. Yes. But they kind of, like, did the nut punch first, and then he ran away, and then just knocked him off, like, with simple stuff. You know what? They also said flawless victory in the first one way too much. Like, a flawless victory is only when, like, you get no, like, yeah, no, no hits no on hits you. Are, yeah. Right? Like, that, it, that is it. But they said it, like, so many times. Which, there was a few times where there was, like, you know, when Sub-Zero would, like, shoot his blast, turn him to ice, and then they're done, yes. right? And then other times. But they said it, like, almost after every kill, and it's like, that's not how it works, okay? That's not a flawless victory, okay? I really wish they had brought in some, like, the, the video game aspects of it, of, like, like maybe when you're failing to, like, do the moves, you know, you, like, you, you do the back, back, back to, <laughs> to get something. They, they should have done something like that. Where it's like, oh, it's not working. <laughs> yeah, you're just like flailing. Actually, there. hit up in this that the <laughs> and the person's just like, and then they just fall back. Where you just tap them and then they fall back. Like, oh my gosh, you felt so stupid when you were doing that, and you're like, damn it! And then they just fall and die in such a stupid way. Yeah. 